We welcome you to the third annual Heart Baseball Media Day. I'm your host, Heart Correspondent Stephen Davis. Next up, we have Graceland University Head Baseball Coach and Athletic Director Brady McKillop, as well as Jacob Lopez. Coach Jacob, thanks for being here. How are you guys doing today? Doing well, thank you. Doing great. Coach, we'll start with you. Tell us about your squad this year. What have been some of the highlights as you've uh, gotten going here in the preseason? Well, I mean, the biggest highlight is, is we pretty much returned everybody um, off last year's team. that I saw a market improvement in in number of wins in conference and, and overall for us. Um, so it's nice to have that, you know, report guys back uh, that we can continue to build off along with some guys that we feel pretty confident in in our recruiting class that we brought in. Um, so, you know, we're, we're like everybody else in the Midwest right now. We're, we're chopping up the bit to get outside because we're stuck in because of the snow. But, uh, you know, we're trying to accomplish everything we can inside with our facilities. Coach, tell us about the guy next to you. Introduce us to Jacob and uh, his importance to your program. Yeah, so Jacob uh, came to us last year as a transfer um, out of California. Um, kind of came in as a utility guy, and that's really what he was for us. He ended up playing probably the multiple starts in the outfield, but he started at short at third. I think he played every position for us last year, but first base catcher and pitcher. So he played in, in six positions, starting at multiple of them. Um, this year, you know, we're hoping with recruiting that we can kind of find him a little home and he doesn't have to be as, as well versed, even though we know he is, you know, so we're looking at him at, uh, you know, third base, second base kind of primarily, but we know what he can do. Jacob, let's get to know you a little bit. Uh, where are you from? What's your major in school? Uh, so I'm from LA, California, Los Angeles. Um, I got criminal justice as my major. My minor is psychology. I'm just looking forward to the season getting started in a couple of weeks here. Absolutely. Well, let's move beyond the season for a moment into the future. What any career plans for you after you leave school? Uh, I've been applying to call. I mean, police departments already. I've submitted 10 applications, so I'm just looking to get my career started. Tell us about your experience playing baseball at Graceland. I've got to imagine it is complete culture shock going from Los Angeles to Lamoni. <laughs> culture shock is an understatement. <laughs> It was a it was a big change when I first got here in August. Uh, I left last year, so. Uh, but I mean, it's been great. It's the school's been treating me well. The town is great. It's small, but I mean, the people are really, really generous and nice. Everybody's like a family. They treat you well, and it was a culture shock. But now I've adapted to it. Coach, you're also the AD. You, you wear dual hats. Uh, it seems like a great time to be a Yellow Jacket right now. A lot of programs having great seasons. Football <laughs> having one of their best years. Men's basketball is going well. What's the mood like on campus right now? No, it's very positive. Um, you know, minus the weather, but uh, it's very positive. It, it is a good time to be a Yellow Jacket. You know, we 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 went on a push a couple of years ago to to get our football program back on track, and we appear to be be doing that you know first uh winning season in, in a number of years um a lot of positives from there our men's basketball team picked up where they left off last year you know like they were 19 and 10 last year uh, i think they're 15 and 4 now um you know up towards the top of the conference and our women's basketball program as well this winter they're playing much better um you know kind of kind of setting in that six seven spot of the playoffs but you know we want that's what that's all we really strive to do is get our teams into the playoffs and, and see what happens what else do you guys have new on campus right now any uh facility updates you have for us um we're working it, it'd probably be about a year out uh fall of 2025 but a new strength and conditioning center um off the back side of our gym uh actually where our old pool used to be Pool has been shut down for about six or seven years now, but uh, renovating that into into something that student athletes can utilize and, and get more out of, um, you know. So that that's really probably the biggest one, you know. Being being up at North Park for you know those that are familiar with coming up here and playing baseball and softball, we're located off campus with our with our facility, so we're exploring some of those options. Um, hopefully, in the next two to three years max, we can we can bring those fields to campus as well. Jacob, back over to you. Obviously, the weather is different than where you're from in L.A., but uh, how excited are you and your teammates to get out on the field and play some games, whatever the weather is, in, in a week or two? Oh, we're itching. We're itching every single day, every practice. We're going hard, balls to the wall. Um, but a lot of us are from the Midwest, and a lot of us are from out of the country, about 60% of us, so... 
a lot of us have been here last year, so we do know the weather, the snow, it's hit us hard this year. But I mean, other than that, we're just ready to go and play some ball games. What's the trick to playing baseball in uh, kind of cold conditions? Is there any tricks you've learned? Just like coach said, Skip said, stay. It's all up here, mental, between the ears. You just got to get uh, grind through it. Coach, let's talk a little bit about your team this year. Uh, one of your newcomers I noticed pretty unique. Your son, Landon, is on the squad. Uh, how neat is it yeah. for you to have him as part of the team? Yeah, it, it's an interesting fact, uh, facet, you know, that uh, he graduated, chose to graduate early, you know, being in a small community. There, there's a numbers issue with Iowa playing baseball in the summer. Uh, wasn't looking like they might have a team, a high school team this year. So he explored that option was able to graduate early and has chose to to join us. So, um, you know, he's always been around the team since he was little, but, uh, you know, now having him in the, in the capacity of actually practicing and, and competing with these guys out there, um, you know, they coach him more than I do, um, you know, just from that aspect. So he probably listens to them more than he listens to me too, but, uh, you know, it, it's neat. It's cool. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Well, looking at your schedule, it looks like uh, most of February, you guys will camp out down in Joplin, Missouri. Uh, talk about the facilities they have down there, as well as what you want to see from your team in those games in Joplin. Yeah, so about 13 years ago, uh, we got lucky and were able to host kind of a small round robin for about five teams. And it's just grown since then. Uh, they have Joe Becker, the historical Joe Becker Stadium, um, which is now turf infield, grass outfield. Uh, so we get to utilize that. Uh, they have Wendell Redden Stadium as well, which is turf infield, grass outfield. And then as long as it's on the weekend, Joplin High School has been good enough to allow us to use it. They're an all turf facility, uh, just just beautiful facilities down there. And it's typically about 15, 20 degrees warmer than it is up here. Uh, and it's not a terrible drive. So we get a lot of schools from the Midwest, upper Midwest to go down there. Uh, when I put it together, that's what I wanted. You know, I was tired of going to Oklahoma City and USAO and those schools down in Oklahoma that have been outside for a month and a half and where we hadn't gotten that opportunity. So I found a, found facilities where we could go down with other schools from up north. And, you know, really, it's more a level playing field. If you're playing baseball when you haven't been out a lot, uh, it ain't always pretty, but uh, it's a more of a level playing field. Jacob, as you go into this year and the experience you have under your belt, how do you view yourself as a leader for the team and what can you do to, to be that kind of leader? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not no vocal person by any means. I'm just a leader by example. I like to do things the right way, whichever program I, I go to. I'm here at Grayson, whichever way he, he teaches it. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm very, uh, I mold to his uh, teachings. And I just want to set the example for other players and other uh, upcoming players and recruits that, that's the way that it should go. How much are you and your teammates looking forward to the challenge of the grind of the, the heart season week in and week out? Oh, I mean, we started back September 4th, Labor Day. It's been a grind ever since then, every single day, except Sundays. But I mean, we endured it. We enjoy it. We hate it sometimes, but it's life. <laughs> it's life. You got to keep keep your head up and going forward. Awesome. Coach, throw a few names at us. Obviously, you mentioned Jacob, uh, guys that you think will really have an impact for you, either on the mound or with the bat this season. Yeah, so probably our deepest positions behind the plate. We got three guys uh, there that uh, really confident in JD Woodruff uh, and then Ibrahim Cavedo. They're both returners uh, with a couple of years experience here. And then new transfer in from Brescia College was J uh, Juan Guzman, JP Guzman. Um, and then uh, we got a couple other younger guys behind them too. But that's probably our deepest position. Uh, a staple. He's been a starter for us since he was a freshman. Zach Tanabe uh, has been our shortstop. He's all conference last year. Um, throws a little bit for us too uh, in relief uh, and spot starts um, as needed. So, so he's there again. You got Jacob at, at either second or third. Third base is a position where you know we lost Brian Pye, his three-time conference all conference member. Um, kind of seemed like he just stayed over there and never really thought about anything else. So third base is a little bit up for grabs uh, as well as first base. Um, and then you get in the outfield, you know, we got some returners back in, in Keith Whitaker who was, uh, was our center fielder last year, um, graduated a couple guys, but we got a couple of young guys coming in. Um, then you go to the mound. Uh, it's probably where we lost the most, um, but also where we recruited the most, you know, so 
Um, we got a couple transfers from Northern Iowa Community College. Uh, they both started and relieved. Uh, we have Stephen Eskridge back, first team all conference relief pitcher. Um, you know, he, I think he finished around 10th in the nation last year in overall saves. So he's back at the back end of our our uh, pitching staff. So we get a lead late. We feel comfortable with turning the ball over to him for, you know, definitely one inning, probably two or two and change if we need to. Um, so um, we're pretty well-rounded. I, I really like this group and, and the depth that we have with, like I said, the guys that all returned, the young guys we have coming up and and their hunger and how hard they've been practicing and, and pushing our older guys. I mean, I think there's going to be some tough decisions to be made here in the next couple of weeks with, with the young guys pushing the old guys. So well, we'll see how it all shakes out. Coach Jacob, thank you so much for your time today. Best of luck this season. Thank, thank you, you very much.